A prairie fire burned at Crow and Park Reserve on Tuesday, but the controlled burn actually benefits the land. Reporter Eric Nelson explains why. Fire is a really important component of the ecosystem. Without it, you know, we lose a lot of species, like ground nesting birds and pollinators. Snap, crackle, pop. Those were common sights and sounds today at Crowhassan Park Reserve in Wright County as prairie pyrotechnics were on display. We got perfect conditions for burning today. This was a controlled burn orchestrated by the Three Rivers Park District. It's extremely safe. We know exactly what we're doing. The flames left scorched earth in their wake, burning 65 acres. But ultimately, this smoky scene will restore the park's nutrient-poor soil. We're doing a controlled burn so that we can control invasive species, and we are recycling the nutrients back into the soil so those new plants can take up the nutrients. These burns are nothing new. We do it every year throughout the park district. And are critical for insects, critters, native grasses, and wildflowers. Invasive species can come back in here. Uh, we can have uh, everything will be reforested again. And we want to keep these areas open because it's really important for wildlife. A Three Rivers crew of 12 spent the day starting fires and also getting in position to douse the flames when necessary. We start backfires and uh, make sure everything is secure before we come around with a head fire and don't really have any issues with jumps or anything. These controlled burns will continue throughout the spring. Next week, they'll be at Elm Creek in Maple Grove. Reporting from the Crowhassan Park Reserve, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News.